So what do you think is going to be the most exciting thing or some of the exciting things happening to the industry in the next 10 years or so? Okay, things that I would see is the, uh, the further exploitation of unusual reservoirs like shales. Uh, that's certainly one thing. That would be oil and gas related. Uh, more uh, integration with seismic interpretation. You're going to be able to interpret a lot more things from the surface before you ever drill a well, and then and you'll be able to incorporate that pre-drilling. So that, that your, your associations with geophysics will be a big thing. These unusual reservoirs will be another. And uh, and actually the one that I'm kind of interested. In, I'm not just saying this. Geothermal, hot, or anything like that. Did you just call but, me hot? Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. I, I love that. that. I love that. You're geothermal. Oh, yes, geothermal. That's, that's, always, that's a good alternative. Yeah, that's, I was leading into the geothermal. That was the most excellent segue I've ever heard. Exactly. But that, that would be one part, would be uh, using the natural heat of the earth. That just makes so much sense to me that right. I mean, for, a, for an energy source, uh, be it circulating uh, hot water, uh, but geologists will need to know how to do that because we need to know the uh, circulation of water underground so that we can use the hot water that's heated by the natural heat of the earth to, uh, that's energy. I mean, when you bring up heat, it's energy, and then you've got to convert that to electricity or however you're going to use it, that's the physicist's problem. But if we can get up the heat from underground, uh, that will solve a lot of, a lot of energy issues. The thing about geothermal is, I mean, there's no pollution to it whatsoever. It's, it's uh, definitely a recurring resource that's renewable, and, and it makes no mess on the surface, like windows do. I mean, right, I think windows right. are kind of messy. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, Require a lot of things. And, and same with solar panels. They're kind of messy. They're, you got to have so much of it that it, it, it takes that part of the land out of use, and uh, you, know, you got to ship the electricity a long way over wires. Whereas geothermal, if you could do them smaller uh, point source uses, uh, I know there's, there's heating arrangements where you actually do a local building piece for geothermal. Heat pump. Yeah. Right. yeah exactly.